weather at the time a brick is laid can become very important as far as durability and water penetration through the wall. Things like that are concerned. So let's talk briefly about hot and cold weather. As far as cold weather is concerned, uh, my area of expertise sort of is the southeast, basically, where it doesn't get quite as cold. We have some cold weather, though, so let's talk about it for a moment. Once it gets below about 40 degrees, you need to start considering maybe some cold weather techniques. And obviously, once it gets below 32 degrees, you'd have to do that. What you'd like to do is make sure if you're laying brick on a day as a mason, let's say you've come to work, it was below 32 the night before. Now the, the temperature's up around 40 degrees, you think it's safe to lay brick, but some of the units are still covered with ice. Don't lay them. It would be almost impossible for the mortar to bond to the brick with ice on them. Plus the hydration that needs to take place in that mortar. It wouldn't be able to do so. In order to keep the brick from being covered with ice, obviously all you need to do is keep them covered so that they don't get wet. Many times here in the south, it'll rain during the day and then freeze that night. You come back the next day, you're trying to lay units with ice on them. Bad idea. Keep the brick stack covered and don't lay units with ice on them. Now that's not to say that you can't lay brick below 32 degrees. You can. What you need to do is just enclose the area that you're working. Put some type of heater in there and make sure that you keep the temperature above 32 degrees for at least 24 hours. Now there are some admixtures, admixtures that you can use to go ahead and accelerate the pace of the hydration in the mortar. The problem with that is this, sometimes it can cause staining and other concerns, so really don't suggest that you do that um, as opposed to just taking precautions and, and shrouding the area that you're working in and things like that would probably be the best avenue to take. But now hot weather can really become a problem, especially here in the southeast. You might think if the temperature is 95 or 100 degrees that that's what the temperature is on the face of the wall. The ambient temperature and the temperature of the wall are not the same. It could be 140 degrees on the face of the wall. If you lay the brick in mortar in an area where it's 140 degrees, you can have problems. What you'd like to do is keep the mortar at 120 degrees or lower. In order to do that, you need to use cool mixing water if you can. Rather than fill the water barrel beside the mixer totally each day, allowing it to set there and just bake in the sun, perhaps you could use cooler water by running it through a hose into a bucket or whatever system you might come up with, but try to use cool water when mixing. Also, when you're dumping the mortar from the machine, into the wheelbarrow, pre-wet it. That metal in that wheelbarrow is very hot. Cool it down a bit. Pre-wet the mortar boards before you place the mortar on them. Anything that you can do like that to cut down on the heat will make that mortar be able to bond to the brick once you lay them in the wall in a much better fashion. Just keep these few pointers in mind, but if you'd like a little more information about hot and cold construction, just go to gobricksoutheast.com. The entire tech note is there and you can read it.